Hey guys, Matt here. Want to do a uh, quick product review on a new item that I just got today. Um, and I've actually used it already. So wanted to get this out here, get this out there to you guys. Uh, the product's by Scent Slammer. It's uh, called Throw and Go uh, Ozone Odor Eliminator. It uh, says it's provides 360 degrees ozone odor, ozone disbursement attacks and destroys foreign scent molecules with ozone leaving your gear odorless 100% chemical free eliminates odor on clothing and your gear without leaving any scent or residue compact and portable um, I was just at my uh, local farm store here in town i saw this thing and i thought why not i'm having some issues with some hogs um here on the farm and uh you know it's it's kind of frustrating um they show up at my feeder almost e you know just about every day i say just about every day well dang near every day and then i go hunting they don't show up I thought, you know, the first time, you know, it was just a fluke type thing. They got lucky, um, you know, um, that type of thing. Um, you know, then I don't go. Man, they sh they show up and they start eating at my feeder. And, uh, you know, they, they show up several days in a row. Then then the next day I can go, I go, they, they don't show up. So... When they don't show up then, I thought, well, hmm, something's going on. So, uh, I gave it another try. And on the third time, I thought, well, you know, they, they got to be smelling me or something if they don't show up. And sure enough, third time, they didn't show. So, they got to be, uh, I don't think they're seeing me. I'm in a box blind. So, they, I don't, I don't think they're seeing me. Um, they gotta be smelling me. So, um, like I said, I was at my local farm store, uh, today, as a matter of fact, and I saw this thing here and I thought, well, I'll give this thing a try. And, uh, so here's where we are. And I thought I'd do a quick, uh, a, a quick show and tell, uh, on the product and, uh, show you what you get and, uh, show you my experience with it. And uh, I'm pretty excited about the product, so uh, um, I've already tested it out. So, kind of give you my two cents on it. Um, here's what the box looks like. It's a nice portable compact unit. I'm in a uh, four by eight box blind, so I think this will uh, probably work uh, pretty good at filling the uh, filling a whole blind with O3. Uh, so. It's what the box looks like. So, let's see if I can open it with one hand. I need to get me a tripod camera mount or something. If I want to do more reviews. Um, they give you uh, an extra set of, these are little plastic covers for the uh, USB ports. I don't want to lose them. The wind's kind of blowing. I'm doing this outside. I'll put those in my pocket lose them all right there we go here's the uh, usb cable let's see what kind of usb cable it is looks like a micro okay so here's the unit there's the, it's got a tripod mount on the bottom. Also a little latch that flips up so you could, uh, you know, you could run a rope or something, string. Uh, and suspend it that way, you know, through, through that little uh, loop right there. pretty lightweight I'd say uh, 
couple pounds. Ooh, the wind's blowing. Um, here's your charging port right there. This is a USB port. Um, but you, you can uh, use this device also to, uh, along with this cable, with the unit powered off, you can plug this cable or any other cable, USB cable, like uh, your phone cable. Um, you know, if you have a, uh, if, if you have a, uh, a uh, iPhone or Android, you can plug your phone cable into this standard USB port here, um, and it will charge your phone. But the unit has to be turned off. If the unit is turned on, the USB port will not work. So, uh, I learned that little caveat there. Um, this right here is the uh, um, USB charging port, um, which is what you'll use this cable for. You'll plug this in. into here and then use your standard uh, USB wall charger plug this in the end of that and you can uh, you can charge it you can also uh, use a you know if you were in the field somewhere uh, you could also use a uh, 12 volt DC charger um, like a cigarette lighter charger something like that um, these are LED indicators right here to indicate charge um, each one of them will light up when they're all lit up that means it's fully charged um, when I first took the unit out of the box um, turned it on it was already pre-charged up to three so that was nice I could uh, test it out um, and not have to fully charge it you know give it a charge before i could test it out initially so that was nice uh this button right here is the power button so you just push it hold it down and the unit powers up we're outside so you can't really see there you go i don't know if you can see the leds right there but they're fully charged i've already charged the unit you can hear it running. There's a little fan inside there. But normally on uh, 03 uh, generators, uh, you don't hear them running. There's a little, I assume there's a little fan inside here that uh, kind of disperses the, the ozone. That's pretty much it. Um, set this in your blind or your around your gear stand or somewhere and uh, just leave it running. Um, as a test, I uh, took this thing and uh, took my smelly sneakers, of all things, and placed it in a cardboard box and put this in the cardboard box. It says um, on the box, um, where did I read that? Treatable area. Let's see here. I read somewhere the length of time. Oh, it was in the instruction manual. And I figured it was my smelly sneaker, so I needed to do it for the for uh, odor considerations, concentrations. Light is 10 minutes, moderate is 30 minutes, heavy is 60 minutes. So I figured my sneakers would probably be uh, considered heavy. So I. Uh, Found a little cardboard box, 
put my sneakers in the box, put this contraption in the box, turned it on. Smoked my sneakers beforehand so I could get an idea of how, how bad they reeked, and, and they were pretty bad. Um, of course, this is all subjective, you know, depending on, um, you know, what your level of comfort is and uh left them in there i went ahead and did it for 90 minutes um you could definitely smell the ozone um, when i opened the box back up and took the sneakers out you could definitely smell the ozone had permeated the the sneakers and you know to be honest i i i was not um Going into the test, I was not um, thinking it was going to do much, but uh, I was kind of surprised. My my sneakers didn't didn't smell all that bad afterwards. Um, I could definitely tell that there was a a decrease in in the smell. It definitely could have went a little bit longer. Um, smell was still there. Um, but that could have just been because my sneakers smelt real bad. Uh, they could they could have just needed to be treated longer or something. So I'm going to continue to play around with this unit. And I'm going to take it hog hunting with me uh, next time I go. And uh, I'll film it going there and uh, report back. Do another test and let you guys know. But... I thought I'd do a review and let you guys know what I think about it right now. And uh, we'll do another follow-up review after I've taken it hunting for the first time. Take care, guys.